Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashemi, Hawashai, Waha, Rakak, Wadash, Barakatham, double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect. All right. Um, just looking up a few articles, it says gun control law passes March 2018. Parkland students press Washington for gun control ahead of March for our lives. March for our lives, U.S. set for mass rallies to back gun control. All right. Here it is. These are the top stories within the past month, I would say. And um, this all happened. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to just grab one of the articles and we go into it. You know, and as you, you know, as I read through, you'll see this all happened. Based upon um, a Florida high school, that Florida high school student, she says right here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just read it and we're gonna go through it. So this is right here with large protests for stricter gun laws planned nationwide on Saturday. The U.S. Congress is expected to approve a massive spending bill this week with grants to help schools prevent gun violence, improvements of background checks and an assurance that a key government agency can, can conduct related research. The provisions are Congress response to, tr to intensified public anger and frustration over mass shootings and follow the February 14th massacre at a Florida high school in which 17 people died. All right. And here it is. You know, once this, they call it a mass shooting, when a number of uh, Edomites die, but Jake is being shot down carelessly in the streets by Edomites day in day in and day out, man. For those who you don't who don't know, the Edomites are the so-called white people. So-called white man, man. Well, the so-called white people, Slocky. And the Jakes are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And you're being shot down and brutally uh killed day in and day out. Nobody has a care in the world, man. But now people want to march for the uh, damn uh beast of the earth, man. You know, and this is why this is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why we pissed off, man. All right. So. Now you have where this devil is setting up the narrative. All right. This devil is sitting, setting up the narrative where you get the people afraid so that they push for more gun laws, man. You know, they push for more gun laws, more so-called terrorist attack continue to happen and they bring in martial law. All right, and that's a scenario coming to this this place real soon to be, man. You know, like um, this puts me in mind of that movie of uh, the siege, which happened in 1998. Multiple terrorist attacks happened, which in the movie it happened in New York. All right, and we've seen what happened, you know, after the 9/11 uh, attack, which that was a false flag. All right, uh, the world changed, and now it's, just, it's basically. Like they say, history repeats itself. It's happening now now more than ever. You know, now people are scared to go to the malls and movies. All right. They're scared to do things, man. You know, and that's the mirth of this place uh, ceasing, as the scriptures say. So um, it says the provisions are Congress response to intensify public anger and frustrations over mass shootings and follow the February 14th massacre at a Florida high school in which 17 people died. But the narrowly tailored action falls short of the type of comprehensive legislation gun control advocates and many Democrats say is needed to stop the shooting deaths of school children, concert goers, church worshipers and others. All right. So this right now, you know, all these things is happening is putting people making people scared, man. All right. It's making people scared. So they have to as. As their motto, auto have KO, they created chaos just to bring a so-called solution, man. All right. Which, you know, they pushing these uh, gun laws. But it says right here, I have, you know, just want to read through the different articles. It says, um, wait, what is, which one is that? Let's see. Let's And I just had it. Uh, there's one of them over here. I'm trying to find it. I just had it. It's crazy. 
But these are, no, I can't find a slot here. But it just goes to show you how it says these are modest gun laws. All right, which means. Man, what the hell is it? Uh, oh, okay, here it is. The New York Times, Florida gun bills. What's in it and what isn't? What isn't? You know, and like I said, those are modest gun laws, man. All right, but this is going to get more strict and strict, man. This is what the bill does. Raise the minimum age. We create a waiting period. Ban bump stocks. Which bump stocks are devices that can be attached to rifles to enable them to fire faster. All right. It says um, armed school employees. And fund school security. The bill and these, to me, these two are like the the most alarming armed school employees perhaps the most controversial provision of the bill is one that will allow superintendents and sheriffs to arm school personnel a measure not requested by the parkland students but long desired by the nra which argues that gun free zones prevent people from defending themselves in an attack specifically the bill will create a 67 million dollar marshall program under which certain employees including counselors, coaches, and librarians, but not full-time classroom teachers, could be trained and armed. The program would be voluntary under an, an amendment successfully proposed by State Senator Randolph Bracey, a Democrat. These employees would first have to undergo 12 hours of diversity training, fund school, fund school security, the bill allocates millions of uh, dollars to make buildings more secure and to hire more school-based police officers. However, when the Parkland shooting happened, an armed school re re resource officer was present, standing by the door to the building and did not enter. All right, so that goes to show you right there, man, that this this uh, it was a, it was a, a a false flag. The officer Scott Peterson resigned from the Broward County Sheriff's Office after his actions were called into question. Sheriff Scott Israel said at a news conference last month that he should have gone into the building and confronted the gunman. Mr. Peterson later said he acted the way he did because he thought the gunfire was coming from outside. Really? This is expand mental health services and regulations. And it says what it doesn't. This is one one that's also very important it says ban assault weapons one of the biggest demands of the parkland students as well as many lawmakers including some republicans generally sympathetic to the nra was a ban on assault weapons the term is ambiguous and would have needed to be defined in any such legislation a federal ban that was in place from 1994 to 2004 applied to semi-automatic weapons with two or more of a list of special features suspended ar-15 cells once it became clear that a majority of florida legislatures was not inclined to ban all assault weapons senator oscar Braynon, a democrat proposed an amendment to the gun control bill that will have halted ar-15 cells for two years you know so just in a nutshell, you know, we can see how the, the, the mirth of this place, the joy of this place is, um, you know, being being restricted more and more. You know, it says it, 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 it banned. And what was that over that? Because, well, it was saying that they did that. You know, for the, the um school for the school shootings and the church shootings and stuff like that. You know? And like I said, Esau plans work, man. Here it is. You have people marching basically to take away their defense. You know? This is March for Our Lives. Um here's another good one. March for Our Lives, US set to mass rallies to back gun control. Alright, but you know, I realize I haven't got any scripture, so it says um I'm going to just read this second address. Um, let me see. Chapter was that 16. 
Yeah, second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days because the time we're coming into, which is obvious at this point, you know, if you can't see it, you still sleep, man, is of uh, the time of great death, you know? And Esau, Esau's, like I said, Esau's orchestrating this, man, so he can bring in ultimately his new world order. But even prior to that, he wants to bring in his um martial law. All right, it says, Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. All right. And this is time we're coming into, man. Sorrows and mornings. You know. we we coming into the time of sorrows and mornings, man. All right. Where a lot of people are going to die on these streets, man. This is a... Uh, Isaiah 24 and verse 1. And the way I see it too is though even though Esau is pushing these gun control laws, terrorist attacks are still going to be happening, man. You know? So it says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty. All right? And, and the reason why I say that terrorist attacks are still going to be happening is because even in the scriptures it said, Though they say peace and safety, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, yet sudden destruction shall come upon them. You know, so these gun control laws calls for peace and safety, but then yet sudden destruction, man. So more and more uh, terrorist attacks are happening, man. It's going to happen. You know, you just look at a few years ago where where there wasn't as many terrorist attacks, so-called terrorist attacks, man. Now they're happening basically damn near every week. You know, it's going to go from it went. So it went from every so often to maybe like, you know, four or five times a year to once a month. You know, so this is Isaiah 24 and 1. Behold, Yahweh maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of, of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh has spoken his word. All right? So the Most High has spoken his word, therefore, it's going it's happening, man. You know? In Isaiah 58, it says, um, My word shall go out and it shall not return unto me void. So the Most High's word is going out. And um, he's he's uh destroying the mirth of Babylon, man. You know? Because this this place is it was a place of great pride. Therefore, that's why you got that uh, you know this devil Donald Trump in office, man. This just say pride coming before uh iniquity and before hardy fall, roughly paraphrasing. You know, hey, so this place is falling quick. You know, it says um. Verse four, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And you know, people of this earth, is, especially in America, are very proud, man. Just because this place is called the virgin daughter of Babylon. All right. So people feel as if no harm can come to this place. All right. But they're sadly mistaken, man, as you can see, um, just in the month of March alone. All right. This is, I guess, this is, uh, this is March for our lives. It's supposed to be synonymous for the month of March. It says U.S. set for mass rally rallies to back gun control. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of Americans are gathering for nationwide rallies in support of tighter gun control. March for Our Lives grew out of a movement called for change after 17 people were killed by the gunmen at a high school in Florida last month. On Friday, the White House said it will ban bump stocks which gave semi-automatic guns rapid fire capability. But many activists are calling for more extensive legis legislation. All right. So they want, they want, you know, they want Esau to clamp down more, man. You know? And he will, man. Going into Revelation 12 and 12, he's going to come down having great wrath, sparing none. You know? He's going to kill old and young, man. All right? Just back at 2nd Ezra 16 and 20. But for all these, they should not turn from their wickedness. 
nor be my, always mindful of the scourges. So as all these things are happening, people are still going to be committing adultery, still doing uh, uh, wickedness, you know, still talking against the men of the Lord. When all this um, judgment is happening, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth, and they shall think themselves to be in good case, which is also happening now with these, um, you know, stores closing down. Because prior to them closing down, you have, what, 70% off, 80% off. So they think they're supposed to be in good case. And even then, shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what's happening now, man. People are afraid to go to church. Which church should be supposed to be, a, 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 you know, a safe zone, so to speak, man. You know? Hey, but it's going to come to time. You pe even people in the churches, man. You know, it's going to come to a time... All right, wasn't it? People not going to want to go to church, man. You know, or people going to be carrying their guns to church. You know? For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and others shall escape, that escape the hunger, shall the sword destroy. All right? So, as we see, man, and that, uh, the modern day sword is the gun. So, a lot of people going to die, man. All right? Because, as I said, man, you know, People, and then in this in this world, you're gonna have people that uh want gun gun control laws. They're gonna have those uh you know old school uh devils who believe in their rights, man. You can't take my guns, so that's gonna be a a right a war in itself, man. All right, and then what? It's gonna be so bad in Babylon that they're gonna have to bring guns, man. All right, the UN troops. All right, um, UN troops, which what is Ultimately, martial law. All right. Um, let me grab that. I found that. I was talking about it earlier. The movie, The Siege. It says, uh, The Siege is a 1998 American action thriller film directed by Edmunds Wick. The film is about a fictional uh, situation in which terrorist cells had made several attacks in New York City. Which they call terrorist cells like, uh. A person is always is no he's normally linked to ISIS or uh you know um some type of other uh terrorist group when they when they do uh terrorist attacks over here in the um east coast in New York. They always say like they link to ISIS and stuff like that. The fume stars Denzel Washington. Let me see. That's not what I want. It's locked in. It says the secret US abduction. Of a suspended terrorist leads to a wave of terrorist attacks in New York City, which leads to the declaration of martial law. You know, and the same with Bruce Willis. Um, I'm trying to find it. it. Basically, it was a scene in this movie with Bruce Willis. Let me see. I'm trying to find it, Denzel's. So I can't, I can't I remember which one it was. But in this um scene, um, I guess it came as a surprise for um Denzel Washington. He was like a police chief executive. And I, I guess it came to him as a surprise that um, you know, martial law was implemented. And at that point, basically all bets was off. You know, as far as the, the martial law, I mean, no, it's locked as far as, uh, you know, your, your so-called constitutional rights, you know, because when martial law happens, that's eminent domain. All right. And basically they could uh, carry out their job at, at will, you know, so if they have to torture, if they have to put people to death. All right. Because they believe to be an imminent threat, they will, you know, so that's hey, that's that Revelations 12 and 12 It's it's, it's closer. It's getting closer. Which means what? Our salvation is not. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, you, Akim was edified. Shalom to the elect.